あanother episode of Wednesday Night Smack Talk. And this week's episode is number 206. That's right. We are now fresh, fresh, fresh off the heels of Kangamania. And we're getting close to Kangamania Backlash. And, well, last week we had some uh, challenges issued rematches asked for from the backlash of Kangamania and this week of course we have some responses you know uh, and and more and I want to talk about one specific challenge right here right now you see Seppi after losing at Kangamania shook off the loss as best as he could uh, of course, he was affected by it. He didn't. He didn't like losing. Nobody likes losing. Um, but he was seeing something that he was more excited for than winning, losing, tying, and being made fun of. As you see, with the announcement of AEW Double or Nothing predictions for the KKPL, Sebi knew that he must be on that card. Seppi, as the number one AEW fan in the world from its inception, the man who is not watching Smack Talk Live tonight because he will be at AEW Dynamite in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He knew he had to be on that show. He wants to be on that show more than anything. And he issued an open challenge to anybody, anybody he wanted, somebody, please, to face a double or nothing. And... This week, he has a response. I don't know how much you'll like to hear it, but he has it. So, go ahead. Zach! Sebi, come in, sit down, take a seat. You know why you're here. Boy, shake my hand when you sit down. That's better. Let's get right to it, all right? So, you were doing your homework, Sebi, and you went up against some of the toughest predictors in this company, being Mikey and Franco, and you thought the whole time during that match, it was a good idea to poke the biggest man in the room? You remember what happened when your mama picked the biggest man in the room? All right? She was able to get the job done, unlike you, and that's why you're here, Sebi. Let's go through your match. So you started off the match, you take a deep breath, and you think to yourself, You know what I'm thinking? Yeah, I know what I'm thinking. Let's take a big piss down our leg. Aight. Sebi, you a smart picking theory. Shows me you were paying attention. Makes me think I can start building a little faith in you, aight? And you decided to then pick the Street Profits? Boy, what the hell is wrong with you? What happened to keeping your eye on the ball? You know better, Sebi. Hell, these fish have more brains than you. And you sit there and call yourself sea bass? Aight. You let your ass get run through like your mama on a Friday night. And then, just like your mama on a Friday night, you got taken advantage of, Sebi. And that's why you're here. Sebi, you embarrassed yourself out there. That's why you're here today. So I can talk some sense into you, son. So, you know what? I accept your open challenge. And from there, we'll make a man out of you yet, Sammy. Aight. My goodness. Zach has made something there. <laughs> And Sebi, you now have your opponent. He accepted your challenge. He's going to teach you something about yourself and something about all of us from how he's talking. I feel like um, I'd want to drink his Kool-Aid, if you know what I mean. Sebi, next week, 
We may hear from you, hear what you have to say about him speaking about your mother's uh, happenings on Friday nights. And hear what you have to say about finally having an opponent for AEW Double or Nothing Predictions. Now, after that challenge was answered, we have yet another. Because you see last week on Wednesday Night Smack Talk, a man by the name of Fu-Rang-Go came out here on Smack Talk and challenged Mikey, the 24-7 stream opportunity briefcase holder, to a rematch for that 24-7 stream opportunity. Because you see, he tied at Kangamania. And this week, Mikey has a response. Mikey, who has no prerogative whatsoever to give this rematch, has a response, and we shall hear what he has to say. Right meow. Hello, everybody. It's Mikey Carbs, your current TV champion and current holder of the day one opportunity briefcase. I don't know what the hell it's called, but I'm going to call it that. That has a nice ring to it. No, it doesn't. But I'm here to respond to Franco challenging me for the opportunity day one ish briefcase. Yeah, it doesn't have a good, I was right, not a good ring to it. But I keep going back and forth about it because why should I accept this? You know, is it just a matter of just keep putting it on the line until it finally lose it? I mean, I won it fair and square, then people challenged me for it. And because you didn't beat me, now you want to challenge me again because you tied? It's not like, you know, if you go for a title and you tie, it's not like, well, you tied, so let me get another chance. No, you lost because of the championship's advantage. But I don't hate Franco. You know, he has this thing against me. He can't beat me. So it's not like I'm nervous to go against him anyway. So I guess, Franco, I accept. Most because I don't hate you. Secondly, I'm not really nervous about losing it. So then finally I could just beat you again and I could finally keep this briefcase of opportunity i think that has a better name to it no it doesn't so franco i'll see you at the next uh pay-per-view bye-bye there you have it ladies and gentlemen mikey is prepared to yet again just defeat franco and uh, get another one on his record and get rid of this uh this whole debacle with Franco wanting a big win over Mikey and Franco wanting that opportunity. If he loses fair and square at Kangamania Backlash then Mikey has all claimed to that opportunity and Mikey will be, by all means your future KKPL champion. And he wants to get any naysayers any anybody that's gonna whine and bitch out of the way. But Mikey I come here today on Wednesday Night Smack Talk to tell you that, well, after you answered that challenge, another is opened. Take a listen. Well, well, well. Look what we got here. Got ourselves another tie. <laughs> it's been a while since the last time I did a tie. And... He's a little disappointed that I, I got a tie and not a win, but yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying right now. So I got a tie. I satisfied myself, but did I satisfy you? You really think you can win? I beg to differ. I did the, the hard part, getting the tie, because I mean, who can tie, right? Oh no, I can. So, Mikey, how about we run it back and try one more time? What do you say? Yeah, I, 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 cat, I asked him already. What are you doing over here? Jeez. That is right. Mikey is not only your 24-7 stream opportunity briefcase holder, he is also your TV champion. And he tied at Kangamania in both of his matches. 
Now, as you can see by Paul, he loves a tie. He was satisfied with it, but he knows that you, the fans, the KKPO universe, the Kang gang, the the Heya maniacs, you're not satisfied with that. He knows that all you want to see Paul defeat Mikey, or the others want to see Mikey defeat Paul, but he knows that nobody wants to see this go unfinished. And Mikey, you already accepted a rematch. Now I ask of you yet again. I'm sorry to have to ask it, but I do ask of you yet again. I need a response next week on Smack Talk. You've already accepted one. Will you accept another? Will you rescind your first acceptance and accept this one? Deny this one? Accept both? What will you do? The ball is in your court, my friend. You are a golden god, and I trust you to decide what is fair. But as for now, we must wait. Paul must wait. Franco, still, even though he has his challenge accepted, must wait. This is the price that Mikey paid for tying but retaining all his titles. He has no prerogative to accept either challenge. But as I said, the Golden Gods and Mikey, they are fair. And we'll see what he responds with next week. To his two challenges now. Now that's it for this week's episode of My Smack Talk. I'll see you next week with Sebi's response. Uh, he has an opponent now, but I don't think he's going to be too happy with what was said about him and about his family and about what needs to be done. And of course, we also have the entire dealio with Mikey and Franco and Paul and how he responds. That'll be strange, and we'll see next week. But like I said, now I leave you. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, turning on notifications so you can notify whenever one of these comes out or anything else you want to see on the channel at all. At all. And I shall see you next week for 207. And as for now, I bid you adieu. T H A N K Y O U. Thank you. Thank you. T H A N K Y O U.